So we've looked at square numbers. In this video, we're going to look at cube numbers. So in the way that square numbers looked at what you could think of as the area of a square, so in our video that we looked at, we had 3 by 3, and we know that 3 by 3 is 9. In with cube numbers, we take it one extra dimension, and you're now looking at the volume of a cube. That is 3 centimetres deep. So 3 by 3 by 3. So the cube number is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So 27 is a cube number. So we can also work out the other cube numbers, like 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's 8. And 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So 1, 8 and 27 are cube numbers. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. And 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So cube numbers like square numbers keep on going and you can see that they increase a lot faster than square numbers. Now the ones that really you should be able to identify are really these first five. So these are very useful to remember as being cube numbers. So how is it represented? Well, when you're multiplying three numbers that are the same, then we could represent this as five cubed, and we write a three as the power. So five to the power of three is exactly the same as five cubed, and that's the 125. So you should also be able to work out something like what is 8 cubed using your calculator. Now, depending on the calculator that you have, you may have a button that looks like this. So it's x to the power of something, and then you would need to press 3, the button 3, because you want it cubed. So you'd first write 8 then this button, then 3, okay? Or, you might not have this button looking like that, it might be like a little hat button, and then the 3, if the capital is slightly older or of a different design. So, 8 to the power of 3, press the equals button, and you should get 512. Okay, so, as I say, different calculators will do it in different, slightly different ways but you should really probably have one of these two buttons.